Well, I'm not really wicked at all, Cousin Cecil. You mustn't think that I'm wicked. If you are not, then you have certainly been deceiving us all in a very inexcusable manner. I hope you have not been leading a double life, pretending to be wicked and being really good all the time. That would be hypocrisy. Oh, of course I have been rather reckless. Are you glad to hear it? Uh, I am glad to hear it. In fact, now you mention the subject, I have been very bad in my own small way. Wow, oh, you were so wonderful. That was such a great play. You could have told me you were coming. I was afraid you'd say don't come. You look different. I shine my shoes, press my pants, did my homework. I do my homework now. You want to get some chow mein? Peter, I'm getting married. I always imagine you getting married on a hilltop. And who's the groom? You hadn't decided yet. You think just because you saw my play, you can talk me out of getting married? You once told me you loved me. I let things get in the way before. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. You're too late. Will you think about it? Think about what? Picking up where we left off. Where was that? We never got on. You can't get off if you don't get on, Peter. I don't think it's that simple. Of course you don't, because you complicate things. You don't understand. I'm not an empty seat anymore. I'm different. Punch me, I bleed. I have to go. I'm getting married in a church.